What's up, everyone? Chance here, Missouri Outdoors. Today is November 13th. It is the second day of Missouri's rifle season. And we're sitting in the same blind at the Douglas County Farm that we sat at yesterday. So far, it's been pretty good. We got here like 10 minutes late. I'm watching a doe up here at about 300 yards right now. And we've seen five does already. So, it's pretty good. The first ones came out before I even had the camera set up. The first four. And, uh, yeah. I don't know exactly how this morning is going to go, but it looks like it's going to be a fantastic morning to hunt. Does are already up on their feet, moving around, feeding. I ain't seen no buck yet, but it's only a matter of time. I feel like we're smack dab in the middle of the rut. There's bound to be a big buck come check these does at some point today. If we're any luck, he comes a little closer than the 300 yard mark. But alright guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to leave me a like down below. Share this video around. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, quiet down a little bit, and see what the morning has to hold. I sure do hope you enjoy. Alright guys, well we got a doe up here. At about... Oh, probably close to 300 yards. This is the... Fourth doe I've seen so far this morning. The others crossed at the very top and I couldn't get the camera on them in time. Pretty good sign so far this morning. Ain't been here more than 15 minutes. There's deer coming out of the woodwork everywhere. Looks to be a pretty good second day of rifle season morning. There's another one on further up. Not sure what it is. Looks like another doe. Yeah. Deer are definitely up feeding this morning, that's for sure. They're quite a dang ways. That'd be a pretty far shot. I think I could kill the first one, the second one probably not. Man, them deer really pop in the frost. You can see them real easily a long ways this morning. Not sure if that's the same note from a while ago, but I think it is. She decided to cross the power line closer. There'd be a big bug behind her. Not long into the hunt, we had this buck step out into the power line. As you can tell, I had a little trouble getting on him with the camera. And about the time I finally did get the camera on him and get back on the gun, he started walking. And unfortunately, never did present us a very good shot. He stayed facing away till he jumped the fence. There was a few moments he kind of gave me some quartering away shots, but it just really wasn't anything I was comfortable taking. That's like, oh, probably 200 and 
30 yard shot or so right there where he is now and as you can tell he never did really stop and give me a good shot so we let him walk looks like we got another double throat patch doe coming up through here I wish that buck was behind her. What a pretty deer though. I mean a gorgeous deer. There's two of them. Pretty cool. It's hard to tell, but they both have a double throat patch. That seems to be a common thing on our does down here. We've had some bucks in the past that had it, but not very many. I'm kind of hopeful that we can get that genetic spread around and I can eventually kill me a 150 incher with it. That'd be really, really cool. They're probably a hundred yards right now. Here's about 15 yards. Man, if we could just get a big, big buck to do that. Oh. Our tarsal glands are looking a little dark. beautiful deer. Mm -mm. Well guys, that was short lived. By the time I got digital zoom on, he already walked across, but I think that was a tall spike. 
or maybe a like four pointer or something like that. We just come across up there. That's the first deer we've seen in probably an hour and a half. Good sign. I was starting to think they weren't going to move anymore. Alright guys, well, there's a doe at the very, very top. That's where I've been seeing most of the does this morning. Figured since I've already got the digital zoom turned on, I'd try to film it for you. The funny thing is, and some of you longtime subscribers probably know this, that little black box you can kind of see there, that's my tree stand. <laughs> I've got a stand right up there at the top of the power line. And all, I've seen, I don't know how many deer walk under it today. It's crazy. I'd be sitting there, but it would be uh, too miserably cold. I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't in the blind 30 minutes and my can of Mountain Dew turned into a slushy. It was that cold. It was, it's cold, it was colder this morning than it was yesterday, and yesterday was like 24 degrees and windy. Today's not really that windy, but it's like, it was like 19 degrees this morning or something like that. And that little sound you can hear is my propane heater. Finally got it working good this morning and at least I'm not cold. <laughs> it's about 10 o'clock. Looks like we got a doe walking around out here. That's a good sign. First deer I've seen in a little bit. I think it's a doe. I think so, yeah. Someone's doing a little shooting. <coughs> oh shit, hold on. Is that a buck? Or is that just another doe? I couldn't tell. It happened too quick. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. If it was a buck, it was a little buck, I think. Might have just been another doe. They may just be playing. Not 100% sure. It's about... 11.15 right now.
Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Act like a little buck trying to dog that doe. If I had to guess. Very interesting. It'd be nice if it was a giant buck. I don't know if I'm going to sit all day or not. I've been debating on going home the last 30 minutes or so. and. Now that them deer came out, I don't know, kind of gave me a little bit more faith, so we may just go ahead and stay all day. Looks like the deer is starting to get up and move a little bit, so who knows, we might end up getting something after all. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We just had one cross right there and I don't think that could have been the same deer one of the two deer we just seen so might be another one another doe and there might be a buck behind her you never know so I figured I'd go ahead and try to get the camera on and get ready just in case and no more than just shut it off <laughs> gotta love it that deer will go down there and cross the power line in just a minute. Oh, hey, look. Hmm. Pretty sure both of those are does. Just took off up through there. I don't know why they're running like that. They must just be playing around, I guess. At least I'm like 90% sure that's a doe. Yep, it ain't got no horns. Huh. I don't know, I guess they're just out running around playing. <laughs> That's cool though. I don't know if that other deer is going to come across or not. It may have seen them. And it may run up there in the... Through the woods and then jump the fence and run up there in that other section with them. If so, I might not ever get to see it again. It should come out right where that camera is pointing, though. If it follows the little road down the edge of the fence there. I don't know, it's hard to tell what deer will do sometimes. It would be nice if there was a giant buck somewhere behind them though. I sure would like to shoot my buck. Then we might pop one of these does too. Might as well try to do what dad did and get them both in the same day. Oh there she is. Yeah she come on out for us. Wonder if she's gonna jump the fence and go up the hill where the others did. Oh, I could shoot her so easily. It's so tempting to shoot her. I'm telling you. Deer hunting. 
even though it seems like most of the time all I'm doing is observing. Unless a big, big buck comes out and gives us a shot, and then we won't be observing as much as uh, shooting. And once that happens, the next nice doe that comes out is probably going to get shot too. But, alright, I guess if a buck happens to come by or some more deer, I'll make sure to film them for you. It's hard to tell, but that's a fairly, fairly nice buck up there. <coughs> I know he's a long ways, but, and you can't really see him, but that's definitely a buck. Definitely a buck. He don't look super huge, though. It looks like he's inside his ears but he's fairly tall I can't tell much about him at 700 and some odd yards probably but <clears throat> definitely a buck kind of makes me wish I was in the other ground or in that tree stand up there though so way I can look at him better I don't know, maybe he'll come down here and give us a much better look at him and if he's big enough we may go ahead and bust him, I don't know. Just depends if he comes our way. I figured I'd try to at least film a little bit of him. I know y'all can't see him all that well and he's out of frame now anyway, but... That's probably the better buck we've seen today, and I think I've only seen, it's either the second or third, maybe. Alright guys, well, it's about 1.15 or so, and we ain't seen a deer in quite a while. I don't know, really the only buck on the farm I kind of would consider shooting. We, uh, I don't think we've seen him all day. Not to say he won't show up, but I don't know. I've been running on like three and a half hours of sleep the last like five days, so I don't know. I need to get some videos edited and a few things done around the house. Mom and Dad left earlier around 9.45 or so. I think I'm just going to call it for the day and go home and get some stuff I need to get done done. And I don't know, we may hunt somewhere else tomorrow. It just depends if it rains or not. There is a little bit of rain in the forecast. If it does end up raining, we may end up coming back down here, but I don't know that for sure. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this video up. I know there wasn't a whole lot of action. Not much I can do about that. Most of the deer we've seen today didn't come very close, and it was kind of hard to film most of them. Some of them I didn't even try to film, and some of them ran across the power line so fast that I couldn't have filmed them. That's how it goes sometimes, though. Honestly, I'm not really too satisfied with hunting here. There's just not really the kind of deer I want to be hunting. That's not to say one won't randomly show up, but... I don't know, as tired as I am, I don't really want to sit here for the... Very, very small possibility that that's going to happen. I am going to check the game camera before I leave on my way out and just see if anything's new has shown up in the last week or so. It's been
been a little while since I checked it, so I don't know. You never know. We may get down there, and there may might be a couple new bucks that have shown up that we just ain't seen in the last couple of days. And if so, I may walk right back up here and be back in the blind in 20 minutes. But I kind of doubt it. So that's pretty much going to wrap this video up unless I get down there and there's big bucks on the camera I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave me a like down below share this video around and as always make sure to hit that subscribe button I'd greatly appreciate it alright guys good luck out there in the deer woods I hope you have a good one